This is a Disneyland original little long playing record, and I am your story reader. I am going to begin now to read the story of Grasshopper and the Ants. You can read along with me in your book. You will know it is time to turn the page when Tinkerbell rings her little bells like this. Let's begin now. Once upon a time, on the top of a hill, there lived a carefree grasshopper named Hop. Hop loved to sing and dance and play his fiddle. He and his friend Gabriel, who was a cricket, never did a lick of work. Well, Gabriel did a few chores, sometimes. Although he didn't think much about it, Hop had an enemy, a young buzzard called Bubba. Bubba hated many things, especially music, so he hated Hop most of all. Being a grasshopper, Hop was green all over. As long as he stayed among the green blades of grass, he was safe. One day, he stepped onto a barren patch of ground. Bubba swooped down. If it hadn't been for Gabriel's quick warning, that would have been the end of Hop. Down at the bottom of the hill lived the ants, gathering supplies and food for winter. The queen ant, who had the best Aunt Anna in the entire kingdom, kept a careful watch on all the workers. One of the ants, a young worker named Andy, liked music. Every day he listened to Hop's playing at the top of the hill. The other ants could not hear the melodies. One day, Andy slipped away from the group. I want to sing, said Andy as he climbed the hill. I must go where the music is. Welcome, said Hop. Would you care to take a chorus? Both Gabriel and Hop praised Andy's singing. We'd make a fine trio, said Hop. You've got a quartet now, said the queen, who had followed Andy up the hill. Home, she commanded. Home he went, fast. After that, Andy worked hard to make up for his time off. Then summer was gone, and Hop and Gabriel were alone on the hilltop. Even the other grasshoppers were getting ready for winter. The cold weather brought out all the meanness in Bubba the buzzard. Every time he heard Hop's music, he would fly into a rage. His mother did not know what to do with him. The ants moved into their winter home. Hop was not playing anymore. He and Gabriel were hungry and cold. I can't stand it, said Gabriel. I did do a little work. Maybe the ants will let me in. The cricket said goodbye to Hop and left. By now, the ground was covered with snow. Baba knew that at last he could find Hop. A green grasshopper would show up very well against all that whiteness. The buzzard flew back and forth across the ground, searching. Hop was completely alone now, with no one to blame but himself. No home, no place to go. Only Bubba's shadow, dark and threatening, up above. Hop stumbled on through the deep snow. Finally, he fell down by a little round hill. Hop didn't know it, but under the snowy hill was the ant's winter home, all warm and cozy. Inside the house, there were games and contests and a long table laden with all kinds of food. All the ants were relaxed and having fun. Andy, who was in a nice warm bathrobe and slippers, was singing for the queen. He was very popular indeed. Outside, wheeling and circling, was Baba, still hunting for the green spot on the snow that would be Hop. 
Ice was forming on Hop's wings. He looked up and saw the buzzard. Help! He called. Inside the house, Andy was suddenly alert. His Aunt Anna tuned high. I'm picking up a call for help from my old friend Hop, he said. The queen could hear nothing. Andy's Aunt Anna must be better than hers. So she promptly made him king. To the rescue! Open the door, said King Andy. Outside, Bubba's sharp eyes had picked up something in the snow. He went into a power dive, but Hop was so frozen with cold and fear that he turned blue. Bubba put on the brakes. No, no, it isn't Hop. It's, it's something blue, he screamed and headed upward straight into a hailstorm. The army of ants under the new King Andy quickly rescued Hop. They put him in a nice warm tub and fed him hot broth. And Hop soon felt much better. To show his gratitude, he played his fiddle all evening so all the ants could dance. I work hard all day, I might sleep better when in bed at night. I sleep all day, so that's all right. Deep days, I lose them. <laughs> Thank you. 